this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Let's see what Vivi's doing over there. Because, of course, as we enter any new village, we have to split up and have ATEs. Well, yeah, you live and other people die from you setting them on fire. It's a pretty simple concept. Well, don't think about it too much, Vivi. Actually, do. You know what? You develop quite a bit over the course of the game. It's one reason why Vivi's one of my favorite characters in the game. You know, he starts out as just this little, I don't know if I'd say introverted kid, but maybe shy would probably be a better word. But, you know, and, and he starts asking questions and develops over the course of the game. You know, he's, well, calm down, Vivi. I guess that's fear. Whoa. Watch out, dude. Okay, you can rest for a while while I get some hidden treasure from your ass. No, no, there's a treasure chest there. But it's a tent. Hooray! And over here, we get a Libra! Stelazio. Alright. I'll check that out soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Let's check out this place, or we could watch another ATE. Why not? Let's see what that guy's doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, apparently so. Well, just one, apparently. But, uh, unless Moogles can summon, but I don't think so. Well, then again, uh, Mog did have a relationship with Ramu in uh, Final Fantasy VI. He did, didn't he? I thought, er, oh yeah, that's right, he was the one who taught him how to uh, speak. But now he can't speak anymore. Well, apparently so. Well, because Aiko can summon. Well, I guess I didn't have her summon, but... Hmm, I wonder why. Take a wild guess, viewers. Okay, well, let's see what's going on over back with Sedan there. Oh, okay. I guess we can't go in there. What's, what is that place? Hey, it's Kina! He's... Well, I suppose I should expect him to be alive, but... I'm happy to see that he's alive anyway. <laughs> I just love that sound effect. Okay, so... Dumbass. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, you know, Moogles, you just feel like you're born in the wrong body, you know? I don't know. Yeah, it almost must have been, like, exactly ten years. <laughs> hmm. Well, what are Aiko's feelings? I have an idea. I don't know if I want to know, though. Aw. My hero. I'm trying to think of a Final Fantasy thirteen reference I could make. <laughs> okay. So? So? What's wrong with you? You're six years old! Zidane's not a pedophile! What does that make you? Reminds me of that movie, The Crush. That was a scary movie. He doesn't care about having a homemaker, let alone one that's six years old. What's wrong with you, game? Well, yeah, your village is in ruins. No! Don't make us cook anything with that! Rock fisted potato stew? I'll pretend that's actually food. Kind of like uh, veggie pasta. Pom <laughs> pom would fall off. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. Oh, well, there we go. You gotta be able to find some fish around here somewhere. I mean, you got all this water. That's one thing I like about this village, the whole water landscape and everything like that. More villages need to have water in them, viewers. I mean, if anything, just a river, you know? Okay, now, I don't know if it matters or what this does, but just like before, you want to select the uh, correct Moogle 
to do each activity. So let's see, we want Mocha to take out the potatoes, Momotus to go fishing, and then Chimono will uh, help in the kitchen. So there we are. I don't know what this accomplishes though, I forget. I don't think it accomplishes anything. I mean, I think it changes like a, some dialogue a little, but I don't think you get anything out of it, like an item or something. I don't know. But that's part of what you have to do to help her prepare the food correctly. So there we go. You know, I wonder, since this place is called Madane Sari, I wonder if that's where Madane's rings come from, you know? The accessory that absorbs ice, you know? I don't know. Well, don't, uh, yeah, don't think about it too much, Veep. It's okay. I don't think about it that much. But then again, that's easy for me to say. Bailey's lived forever, so. Well, there we go. I heard that Medane in Medane's Rings was actually supposed to be, like, maybe a translation difference for Madwin from Final Fantasy VI. I don't know, but Idolin Wall? Hmm. Well, let's check it out. Let's go on over there then. If you try going in there again, uh, Mog stops you this time. And you get another ATE! Well, let's see how the cooking's going over there. Um, well, there's four of us. Okay. Okay, then there's six. Uh, oh yeah, what about Kena? Yeah, we might want to uh, make some stuff for him. So that would be 11? Yeah, yeah, that would be 11. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if, uh, I don't, again, this is another thing that you can do to help with the meal. I don't know if it actually really makes a difference, but I don't know what, what's with that song there. Uh, no! No obglops in the food. I heard that that affects the event, too, so... Uh, okay, I'm trying to watch the blood pressure there, girl, lady. Oh, big fish. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's keep on cooking. Come on. Come on get the fish. Get the fish. Get the freaking fish! Woo! Oh, it's Kina. Ow, that must have hurt. Okay, well, let's head on. Oh, you know what? Let's go down here. I think we have to eventually anyway, so. Okay, how's it going, Dagger? Yeah, big summon magic stuff. You thought your summons were big. <laughs> yeah, the Eidolon wall. Let's take a look around. What's going on? Oh, same thing. Okay, well, let's check out the wall then. What's going on, guys? Hey, can I come in? Yeah, they wouldn't let us in before, but, uh, I think I could have gotten past the Moogle if I really wanted to, guys, but thanks anyway. Yeah, why does it? Oh, okay. Uh, I already did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I guess they, uh, oh, I didn't realize the dialogue went that way if you went for Dagger first. Well, there you are. Some of them kind of look familiar, but uh, not quite all of them. Hmm. Whoa, this is the weird music. I think this is the only time in the game that this music ever plays. At least if I recall correctly. We can see all the Eidolons on the walls eventually, but not right now. We, we're kind of fixed to our perspective here. It's okay. We'll get all of your summons back. We just gotta get all the jewels and everything. Okay. Sounds like a plan, Dagger. What the? Oh, nuts. My sound cut out on me. Well, I need to take a pause break anyway. Oh, there it is. Huh. That was weird. My headphones, they just suddenly cut out on me for some reason. Huh. Gaia, huh? So that's the name of the planet. Not Earth or anything like that. Wasn't Gaia the name of the planet in Final Fantasy VII? I forget. But anyway, our planet is called Gaia, apparently. So, well, there we go. 
Oh, and we got another AP. Well, let me take a quick pause break again. Okay, now let's see how uh, Echo's cooking's doing there. See, she got the uh, stew going. And, well, she didn't catch a fish, but eh. Be eat all your food! Hmm? <laughs> um, well, in a way, I suppose, you know, that you, you can't tell what gender either of them are. But, uh, oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, Kuja just let himself go after we saw him last time. So, uh, yeah, and then he put on a chef's hat. Became even sillier looking. No, no. Um, a fat guy can cook? Gee, let me think. Sure, let's ask Kina for advice. Yeah, there we go. Well, we got enough food, but not enough heat. If only there were a way we could get more fire! Hmm. Yeah, that way you got plenty of leftovers. Leftover is good. Oh. Sorry, went through that a little quickly there. Well, there we go. I didn't think I was making more than I needed, but, well, there we are. Only there were a way we could get more heat. Ha ha! There we go! Vivi! We'll get him to assist us with our fire needs. Well, there we are. Okay, well let's go ahead on over there then. And, uh, eat. Vivi? I thought you were helping them out with the cooking. Oh. Okay, I guess not. Kupapo! Let's eat. Eat! EAT! Uh, Zidane, you're not in a battle. You can get out of your battle stance now. Oh, well there we go. Oh, oh, that's awfully nice. <laughs> Amazing! How did you do it, Aiko? Uh, you don't tackle the food, Zidane. Not like the cats. I, I swear, it's, it's like the cats you know, especially Lenny, he'll take the food and then he'll get it in his mouth, then he'll spit it on the floor and then eat it again. Yeah, I mean, I don't mean throwing up, I mean purposely get the food onto the floor because I guess it tastes better on the floor or something. I don't know, but apparently Ico's the last summoner around here. Oh no. How are you surviving around here with just you and the Moogles? Oh, great. Moogles are uh, eavesdropping on us in the windows up there. That's great. No. Oh. Well, shouldn't they have tried to make more little baby summoners? Um, okay, what, what are you getting at, Aiko? Um, oh, okay, that's another play I guess that guy made, huh? Nuts. Your attempts at, uh, um, well, whatever you're trying to do have failed! Oh, well, there we go. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to the Moogle going in your dress, Aiko. Sounds vulgar. Uh, yeah, like, what about all the summons and everything? How woo! Well, where are you going? Oh, oh, okay. I'll get that for you. We'll get the treasure. Okay, we can get the treasure now. I was going to say we can get it later, but uh, there's another treasure in this room, but well, I'll save it for later. I want to move along with this part so I can get the cliffhanger I want. <laughs> Nowhere. Fast. Well, you got plenty of time to move in, Aiko. You got ten years. Well, wait a minute, she's six, maybe 12 years. Yeah, that would be a uh, better idea there. Yeah, what about that tree there? You were kind of telling us about it before, but yeah, we gotta get over there to find Kuja. Oh, an Eidolon seal, huh? Nuts. Oh, well, oh, well, that's weird. Can you uh, help us get in there, Aiko? Well, come on! 
Help us get in there, Aiko. How are we going to get into the Ifa tree without her and find Kuja? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!